Yo guys, it's Footmaster here and today I'm going to be explaining what new content we will be getting in the Winter Wildcard promo. I've already made multiple videos explaining what the promo is and the leaked team which came out a few days ago. So if you haven't already, check out those videos. I'm not going to be mentioning those in this video, but I'm going to be explaining what this loading screen actually means, what players will be in packs and also when they'll be in packs, which is absolutely insane guys. So make sure if you are new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe obviously guys it really helps out the channel and i appreciate the support as always but getting straight into this guys we did get this loading screen yesterday and this is absolutely insane because donk has summarized the content perfectly here in this new promo winter wildcard obviously it's already we've had this multiple years now but it's a very good promo really really fun time in the festive period we are getting a winter team which we know what it is Best of impacts, which is very, very interesting for the market. 10 and 30 coin packs are returning. Discounted packs, daily login rewards, daily player SBCs. I did mention that in previous videos and on my socials down below in clip form. So check that out. And then upgrade SBCs, season three, which came out today. That will be on the clips channel, guys. Check that out. I'll show you the best options and the new players. And then we've got free packs as well. The free pack is absolutely insane. We're getting a free, I think it's 500k pack check that out on the clips channel i mentioned that guys sorry for the promos but you know i've got to do it so this loading screen it did say under it 23 hours and this was yesterday so i expect today at 6 p.m there to be a winter best of guys yes thursday at 6 p.m ea should be releasing unless they got the timing wrong and they meant to put one day in 23 hours then we should be getting these cards in packs and as you can see on the left we've got triple threat in the middle we've got thunderstruck and on the right we've got radioactive there's some insane cards in all these promos triple threat's the worst promo team but there are still some great cards in here as you can see the best cards are definitely david janola who's one of the best cards in the whole game five five he's got the technical plus he's just perfect guys all the pros use his 89 let alone his 90 absolutely crap and we got yaya Torre, who's absolutely ridiculous as well in game he moves different guys he is untouchable in game he's like Vieira, but he can actually shoot so yeah it's mad and then we've got kim pembe who no dynamics and l but it doesn't even matter guys like the card he's just broken every year and this card he literally has the bruiser playstyle plus i never even realized what that playstyle was but any defensive playstyle on a broken defender makes them 10 times better guys then we've got the Thunderstruck team, which as you know, was absolutely crazy during Black Friday. Look how many cards there are in this team that are insane, guys. They've all got their max upgrades. None of them can upgrade anymore, but it doesn't even matter. Like, they're still incredibly expensive. The best cards are Ronaldinho. We've got Cruyff, Neymar, Vinny. But bear in mind, guys, EA will choose which cards go back into packs. So that depends. They might, they may not add Dino, Cruyff, Neymar Vinny but I hope they do because that would be sick but whoever gets added back into packs the supply on them will be massive so there's going to be market crashes left right and center guys they're going to be these players are going to die if they go into packs because everyone will be trying to pack them then we've got the radioactive team which is a weird promo but these cards are so rare guys I'm lucky enough to have packed a Raulho. I don't know how I did it but I packed him and he's absolutely cracked so I'm gassed with that these cards are very special because they work like heroes icons they link with like they give an extra chem boost than normal cards so messi he's actually linkable in people's teams no one can pack that guy but look how many great cards there are there are some dead cards but the best cards are easily valverde is two mil guy he's more expensive than messi which is saying something that's how you know he's like the best midfielder in the game or top three at least then we've got messi of course absolutely insane and then Kante. I don't know why this Kante card is so expensive, by the way. This is an absolute rip-off. 900k, guys. I know he's he's a phenomenal card. Anticipate Playstar Plus. But if you did do this evolution, guys, you could have literally got a card very similar for free, guys. Look at that. Plus 10 pace. And that has Intercept Playstar Plus. And this is a free card, guys. 88 rated. Barely any different. Just look at the difference. There's nothing. Then we have got some new packs added to the code. Credit foot scoreboard for this. We've got new store packs coming, and obviously the market gets affected by this. We've got a deluxe 84 times 10, crazy. Winter Wild Card Foundation pack, which is guaranteed winter wild card loans, which no one really cares about. But 
85 rated players. It's all right. Then these, this is where it gets interesting, guys. 2023 historical encore pack. I think this might be the free pack we're getting, guys, because I've seen loads of codes about it. But maybe I'm bugging out. But maybe that is a separate store pack. But this looks similar to the free pack we're supposed to be getting Friday at 6 p.m. It looks like because it's including a guaranteed center and triple threat thunderstruck or ultimate dynasties hero or icon. Okay, so that's hero or icon. So I don't think that these are all store packs. All the codes are stores. But that looks very similar to it, and it's got the name, which gives off the vibe that EA are giving packs, but... And 81 times 100, guys. What the hell is going on with EA Sports? They are just trying to kill the market every single day. And that pack is absolutely ridiculous, guys. Then we've got Winter Wildcard Foundation, which Winter Wildcard players are going to be in so many packs in the store that their supply is just going to be too much to handle, guys. There's a pack below. Free guaranteed Winter Wildcards, 86 plus. The promo hasn't even started and the cards are dying in the market and they're not even in the game anymore. I mean, yet. Like, what are they doing? Then we've got a team of the group stage guarantee. Ultra wildcard pack. 87 rated. Free, free 87 rated plus with the wildcard players. And then we've got a 5 hero player pick, which is nuts. But it's 86 or higher. There's a lot of dead ones. Obviously, we have got the daily SBCs and uh the team coming i'll just show you guys anyway i've got it up here actually so this is the team guys absolutely crazy these are going to be in packs ronaldo van dyke Pratelas. ridiculous ridiculous then we've got the daily sbcs which ea posted themselves so we're getting a hula sbc tomorrow at six i mean friday at 6 p.m which is tomorrow yeah and then we're getting loads of other cards so some of these are dead but that hula and martinelli friday is ridiculous then we got some new leaks, guys, for Icons Impact. Yashin, Sanchez. These are pretty poor, I can't lie. Raul, who's actually very underrated every year. Then we got Closer, who's dead. And then we got Bergkamp, my legend, Arsenal. I'm going to try to pack that guy, but that's going to be crazy. But yeah, let me know what you think of this promo down below if you think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be very fun, guys. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe if you're new, but it's been for Master, and I'm out. Peace out, guys. Take care.